we're going to call this, how often do streaks of up days occur? Do you know how many up days we had in a row the last couple of days? Too many. There is the screen right there. You can see. One, two, three, four, five, six. And actually it counts. It was like more than that. It was 10, to be honest with you, but whatever. I think it's seven in the S&P futures. We were up this morning, but then they obviously turned around. So since June 28th, the S&P 500 has closed higher every single day. <laughs> making July 10th the seventh up day in a row, the S&P futures since June 28th. There's the chart. We know that in low IV environments, there tend to be more up days than in high IV environments. What about these streaks? How likely are these streaks in low IV environments? Because we're in a low IV environment right now. How likely? Mr. Anton, do you want to go through these stats with us and give us a little color? Absolutely, Tom. We know that in low IV, where we are right now, when we're in low IV environments, we know that the distribution of up versus down days is, is different. Right? We know the long-term average is about 53% to the upside, but when you separate by IV, you actually get a skewed distribution, more up days than down days in low IV, and more down days and up days in high IV. You were using the VIX to gauge it, but if you're looking at IV rank, this translates to IV rank less than 20 for low IV, and then IV rank greater than 30 uh, for the higher IV environments. The question now is, we know that the amount of up days is more frequent, but what about the streaks? So these seven-day streaks, these five-day, six-day streaks, are they more common in high IV environments or low IV environments, and by how much? It's really interesting that when IV is this low, obviously we've seen this slide before, mm -hmm. but when IV is mm -hmm. this low, so we did a study and we basically went back almost 20 years and we recorded the number of three, four, five, six, and seven day streaks of up days. We analyzed the above results in periods when the VIX was below 15 and above 15. We're going to see how yeah. often this happens right now, but we just saw. I'm going to guess seven day in a row streaks with the VIX above 15 is going to be like never like okay let me ask you this how many seven day streaks have we had in the last 20 years in low iv environments in low iv environments i'm going to guess how many i'm going to guess 10 okay and tony in, i'm going to take the over i'll play it that way okay. all right i said 10 and i'm going to say in high iv environments over 15 i'm going to say one when the VIX was less than 15, there were 19 streaks. Okay, so Tony was right. I said 10 of seven consecutive updates. 19. That's a lot. That's one per year. That means there's a 7% chance that the VIX is low, that a randomly selected seven-day period would be would be green every day. Oh, I'm surprised it's that high. Yeah, so, so it's going to get really interesting because... Right. When we think of the market as 50-50, we kind of discount the, the the actual probability of streaks happening. Right. We're going to look at that on the next slide. But I want you to look at the seven day uh, streaks probability. So 19 streaks that we've had since 2004. If you take and the way to read this historic probability is say, OK, if we're looking, if we're today and we're looking at the next seven days, what's the chance that the next seven days will be green every single day? And in low IV, it's seven percent. And if you do the same thing for six up days, it's 11 percent and 16 percent for five for a five day period, which is pretty high. Now, the question is, how high is it compared to a theoretical 50 50 distribution? So if the market was truly 50 50, what would the actual probability be? It would be lower, obviously, but how much lower? In context, a seven percent chance of being green every day in a seven day period is very high when compared to the theoretical 50 50 outcome that it should produce of course because you flip seven times you could go all the way down 50 50 25 12 6 6 and an eighth six and a quarter three and an eighth whatever it is three to 16th 152 <laughs> yeah right if you do seven times a row you get down to about yeah under one point eight <laughs> I didn't see it there. Streaks are much more likely to occur to da, blah, blah, blah. For all the geeks out there, this is what causes kurtosis in the distribution of market returns. But you don't have how many times it happens in when the VIX is over 15. Well, we're going to take a look at that. But the point is, is that you can't look at the market as a 50-50 outcome when it comes to streaks because the actual probability is about 10 times higher than what should be if it were a random 50-50 kind of up or down day. Okay, that's 0.8% versus 7%, yeah. So when the VIX is above 15, the probability of seeing streaks of the same amounts were much lower. The probability of a seven-day upstreak dropped to just 2%. Well, it's still higher than I thought. And the other probabilities were about half of those of low IV. There were nine streaks 
with the VIX above 15 of seven straight up days, I'm surprised. Yeah, and 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 the point here, I mean, this is the whole. This actually lends to the reason why we like to trade in high EV, because in high EV we like two sided markets. I mean, we like two sided markets in general, but they help us even more when volatility is high, and. It's nice to know that when, when volatility is high, you don't see that many streaks, which is good if you're premium selling because you don't want the streaks. This is bad for you, right? When you know you have less streaks and you get more premium, that's another reason why we like trading in high IV is because there aren't that many streaks compared to markets like these. I clearly was off. I thought there would only be one of those. Takeaways. When the VIX is below 15, the probability of seeing a streak of up days was at least 33% for three-day streaks and close to 10% when looking for six or seven-day streaks. Surprised me. For higher IV environments, we saw the probability is cut in half, just 22% to see a three-day streak and 2% to see a seven-day streak. For those curious, the largest streak of up days since 2004 was 14 days. I am curious. What year was that? I forgot. I was gonna put it in here, but I, 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 I for some reason I was like, Tom is not gonna ask you. <laughs> and then of course you asked. I'll find out for you. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess 2007. You think 2007? I, okay. I, I don't know. I'm just. Guessing. I have no idea. It could be 2000. Well, it could be 2017. I'll get the number for you. There you go. Yeah, take a guess, and then I'll, I'll tell you who's right. 2007. Oh my God! Such a copycat. See, that's color. I don't know. I really don't know. All right, let us know, Anton.